Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are healthy and today I will show you the second game of Alpha Zero and Stockfish, where I sacrificed my full rook against him, and if you are new to my YouTube channel then please like and subscribe, so let's go, I started the game with e4, we have g6, which is called modern variation with e4, so I played d4, bishop g7 knight goes to c3, alpha played a6 standard line, try to protect that square to prevent bishop entry point to target the knight, but according to me, best was to play d5, so we have knight f3, d6 bishop e2, and alpha played knight to d7 which is called modern defense with two knights variation, his future plan is to extend his queen side army and play e6 move to secure the position, so after castle, we have e6, bishop e3 knight e7, and look at this position, when I was kid I used to play this opening against my brother or uncle, I thought it was a good opening to stay in the game until the end game, because that time they were better than me. Alpha Zero did it the same thing with me because he thinks I am bigger than him, that's the truth, so we have queen d2, h6 bishop d3, b5 knight back to e2, I want to play c3 to make a pawn chain and a4 to break the queen side army, we have bishop e7 and an alpha can consider c5 and knight c6 on his next move, so I keep him busy with a4, pawn takes rook takes, c5, knight goes to g3 and we have pawn exchanges on center square. Dark square bishop can't take his competitor because the kingside dark squares will be weak and helpless, so alpha played castle, rook d1 and look at the pieces, I put them in a right combination, the d file will be seized by the rook, dark square and light square bishop is willing to attack on the kingside, the knights have a good controlling squares to help the bishops, and at the long run, I can push the e pawn to bring my rook on h4 to attack the king by folding the king pawn structure. Alpha says go ahead, I don't have fear on you, bishop e2 and I am threatening to take the bishop, after king takes bishop I will win the center pawn, alpha zero is intelligent enough to calculate this because he is a stockfish subscriber, so he played knight f6, but the problem is not over yet, a quick decision alone will not solve the problem, you have to be patient and observe what is the cause of your problems, if you understand the cause then you will understand the solution, there is bishop takes h6. Bishop takes and the pawn gets captured by the queen, here if you play a human looking move for example queen c8 to target the pawn, then knight h5 will come to deliver checkmate, after takes, takes, this targets to the knight so the knight moves to g6, knight g5, and you will lose the position and the game very early, this a threat, then knight takes pawn will come, after takes, takes the king will be exposed and move the pawn, to bring your rook to deliver. Checkmate, so back to the position, alpha played knight c6, to protect the bishop with the queen, which is why I played rook takes pawn, sacrificing the rook for a stupid pawn, I want to deflect the queen from guarding the bishop, after queen takes d6 it is no longer to help the bishop, that's why I played knight h5 to target the bishop, the pawn cannot take the knight, I already told you why, let me show you again, after takes, the knight will come to the g5 square to deliver checkmate. So you have to take the knight, queen takes bishop check, king here check here, check, the king cannot escape from his own prison, so after king here e5, that's the killer move with my killer attitude, the queen is under attack and checkmate is coming at the same time, you have to protect one of them, so after queen here, rook takes takes c6 knight d5 and that's it, I will get a very good queen and bishop position, I will get past pawns and I will totally win the game so back to the position. We have queen e7 to protect the bishop, I played e5 to deflect the bishop position, if you take the pawn with your knight, then knight g5 will come to destroy you, checkmate is coming in two ways, if you take the knight then it will be checkmated in g7 square, so, in this position we have bishop takes e5, if you capture the bishop then black will capture your h5 knight, so we have bishop d3, and now, knight takes bishop is coming, with the idea of queen and knight checkmate on g7. Therefore if you take the knight with your pawn then it will be checkmated on h7 square with the queen and bishop, that's the plan so we have bishop takes b2, rook goes to g4, to create pressure to the pawn, every pieces are targeting to the pawn to open up the position, that's why we have rook d8 to create breathing room. Rook takes pawn or bishop takes pawn isn't good because there is the queen and the dark square bishop to protect the king, 
I am still down a rook so I have to play correctly. I played rook d4 to block the bishop line and now, I am threatening to play queen g7 checkmate, and if you take the rook with bishop, then knight takes d4 will come, knight takes d4, and it will be checkmated on g7, so in this position, we have f5, to protect that rank with the queen, queen takes check, king here check king here, knight f6 check, and the king have no square to run, if you say, what about king f7. Then it will be checkmated by the knight, never think yourself stronger than a lion and never think you are smarter than a stockfish, so chess friends, if you want to become a grandmaster in chess then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel where you will find educational and learning chess contents from us, back to the position, alpha play queen takes knight, queen takes f6, and after few moves later, we have queen takes e6, and I am totally winning here, because his king is exposed. That means that I can give him threats millions of ways. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.